is there traffic, can there be traffic in the airspace? Yes, there can be. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. there can be, and yeah. uh, there always is, but it is very well managed. Yes, it's managed. Uh, that basically won't fall under my category, yeah. but uh, it is my duty to know where my aircraft is at any particular time while she's in flight. So yes, there is, but uh, that can be dealt with by a different person altogether. Mm. They're called air traffic controllers. Mm. Yes, they take care of the, the traf traffic up there. Okay. Yes. And then the other question I was asked, Sheila, is um, say I have a, a chopper. Okay, like in the mm -hmm. next couple of years, I'll have one. So, <laughs> I mean, this Very is her standards. We have yeah, to dream. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we have yeah, to sure. set standards. You sure. have to dream and sure. have visions. Yes. Yes. What is the procedure of, say, flying uh, a private uh, plane or chopper? What is the procedure? And then, of course, I'm also told you have to take it to the, it has to park at the airport. Please educate me before I. I make the order, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so before you make your order of, yeah. of the plane, yeah. uh, you have to let the regulator know, and the regulator in this case is our Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. Mm -hmm. Yes, so they will take you through the processes of uh, uh, acquiring one and getting uh, one uh, here. Then when you come, of course, now that's when we, they, you start the legal documentation and uh, any other thing that may be needed, they'll be of help. But uh, for registration and such, uh, Kenya Civil Aviation yes. are the people to deal with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll get to ask you more questions later, but I want to go back to Ruth now. Mm -hmm. Ruth, you're the grounds operation manager at uh, Jumbo Jet. Jet. Yeah, and, uh, you've been at it for a, cup, a couple of, you've been in the industry for a couple of years. Yes. Precisely how many? More than a decade. Hey, <laughs> Shangwe, clap for her. More than a decade. Yes, more than a decade. How is that? How how has that been? Uh, mm. It has been a, um, an amazing experience, mm. uh, to say. And uh, for sure, if I can tell you, Quinta is mm. uh, that each and every flight that we do handle has got a different experience. You will handle a flight in the morning with totally different experience. And the next hour, you handle another flight with totally different experience. So you get to learn so much when handling flights. And uh, that experience makes you uh, to grow. You tap the opportunities out of it, uh, because then you get to resolve so much uh, issues, problems here and there. And then you're dealing with people. And uh, yes, you get to learn so, 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 so much. So it has been an amazing journey, I can say. Um, I started quite uh, some time back, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes, it has been quite uh, a good journey. A I good journey. Say. Yes. So you need to be like semanga si panguingui. I can deal with anything. Absolutely, bring it on. Bring, bring it on. on. I yes. can handle it. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. Yeah. How did you get from, uh, uh, you know, customer service mm -hmm. and then to ground operations manager? Uh, the reason I'm asking this yeah. is this show is actually watched by many young women mm -hmm. yeah, and we receive lots of questions about you know career progression yeah. what do i need to do in order mm -hmm. to move from point a to point b mm -hmm. so probably there's someone who's watching and wondering one day i would like to be ground operations manager mm -hmm. but how do i get do there I get what do now? i need to study in mm -hmm. school what kind of disciplines do i need to check mm -hmm. on myself yeah. what kind of experience do i need what kind of you know out of job experience yeah. do I need in order to get here? Mm -hmm. Possibly you could just shed more light on that before I can get to Sheila Bonyo. <laughs> okay, yes. so um, mm -hmm. basically uh, when I was in high school, yeah. I, did not, I didn't know that I will get myself into aviation industry. However, immediately after finishing, I, my eldest brother had just joined the aviation industry. Yeah. And then when he could come to the village home, I will see a city gentleman mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I will admire that <laughs> so otherwise I had failed uh, to get opportunity in uh, teaching mm -hmm. P1 mm -hmm. even with my good grades in form 4 mm -hmm. I still failed to get I remember I even went for an interview to Migori uh, teachers college mm -hmm. but it failed but I think uh, my I was destined to be in aviation mm -hmm. so um, after 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 that, then I got to join East Africa School of Aviation. Yeah. And I studied uh, travel and tourism. I did um, up to management level. Mm -hmm. And uh, in between, when I was 
when I done le a diploma level one and two, mm -hmm. I got the job at mm -hmm. the CFA. Mm -hmm. So I started at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I started down, down there, mm -hmm. and then um, I did my internship at JKI, mm -hmm. one of the companies. Yeah. And then I got a privilege to join one of the ground handling agency, a very prominent one at the airport, where I really I worked for uh, around eight years, mm -hmm. but different departments. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I got I it reached a point I felt like I needed a more challenging role. And yes, Jamu Tetu are here for me. <laughs> I got uh, I got the job uh, in Ukunda. I was my first posting with Jumbo Jet was uh, in Ukunda. That was in uh, 2017, uh, June, where I worked for approximately three years, and um, I got I was transferred to Eldoret, where I worked until recently. And yes, after Eldoret, I got my promotion to be the manager of Gram Services. Mm -hmm. And here I am. So that is basically uh, my journey, how I started. So for those ones who are saying how they want how yeah. to maneuver around, yeah. um, it, is, it is as easy as that. You only need to remain focused.